Now, you probably clicked this video because you're wanting to post more content on social media, or maybe you're posting on social media and you want to step up the overall content that you're putting on your page. And that's why on today's video, we will be going through what I call the content creator formula, where we're gonna talk about the roadmap for how you need to plan your social media content in order to shoot it so that when you post it, it effectively communicates your brand and builds an engaged online community. So and we're gonna be doing that with a recent fitness shoot that I did to illustrate a lot of the concepts that we talked about in this video. But before we can dive into things, I feel like we need a quick introduction because it's been a while. So hi, my name is Brock Wonder. I am a social media strategist and content creator based in Toronto. And on this channel, we talk about how to live a more creative, life, meaning we break down everything from photo and video tips and tricks, the gear that you need to leveling up your social media presences and overall lifestyle tips for the content creator or creative out there that's looking to produce meaningful art. So to kick things off, we need to start with how you can actually begin posting consistent content on social media over a long period of time. You'll need to figure out what you're trying to say by being on social media, because only then will you be able to come up with endless post ideas, whether it's from one single post on Instagram or an entire video that showcases your workout routine for your fitness influencer audience, you need to have a clear direction. And so by learning what we're trying to say as a result of being on social media, we can then create our mission. And that's pretty similar to what Simon Sinek calls your why. Our mission is what allows us to get tactical and build things that I call content pillars. In essence, you need to take your why, so your mission, and divide that into three different post types. One type of post is for gaining brand awareness because you need some of your content to help new people find you by providing them with value. Your second type of post is to help make you more relatable to your audience so that you can build a more personal connection with them. And finally, you need posts that help you achieve your goals, whether they're business or personal related, because only then when you have your content pillars, can you come up consistently with ideas for posts every single day. And these posts will need to contribute to your goals directly because they fit nicely under each of these buckets. And that's why in today's video, we need to narrow down what content we're making before I can show you how you can make it. And we're gonna do that by aligning with content pillar three, which I've created a cinematic fitness brand sequence, which helps showcase my capabilities and perhaps get the attention of the brand later on. Now, let's say you have your overall brand direction set. How then can you finally start making incredible videos for social media? Because again, every idea that we have that becomes a post on our social media accounts has to roll up to one of our content pillars if it's to be successful. And so what I find is that sometimes that can be an idea or it might be a question that needs to have an answer to it. And it can look like a single post on Instagram, a carousel post or a reel or whatever the format looks like, as long as the idea comes across in the post. And for today's example, it's simply just going to be a story that needs to be told in a real format. And that's why today I'm rolling with a fitness video because I pretty much exclusively wear Alphalete if I'm being honest. And I'm pretty into fitness and naturally I love to make fitness content and I can make endless amounts of cinematic fitness content or take fitness photos is just what I love to do. And that's why we're going to roll with it today for content pillar three. So step two then is coming up with a story for our ideas. It's enough to say, okay, I want to make a fitness video, but what exactly are we going to do within that video? That's the part that everybody struggles with is like, you can come up with this calendar of ideas that you think you're going to post, but until you actually work backwards on like what that looks like, that's the really hard part. And that's what I'm calling a story for the sake of today's example. And so to come up with a storyline, you need to first think about your idea of the fitness shoot in this case, and ask yourself two questions. First, what I wanted the video to be about. And two, what is the key takeaway of the video? And in this case, our video is about an athlete setting up for their workout, hydrating with Zulu Athletic. And the key takeaway of the video is to encourage other people to use Zulu Athletic for their workouts because the bottles are just so great to actually drink from and they're easy to use. And we wanna showcase all of that in this clip. We can then move to step three, which is coming up with our content hooks. The most important part of any piece of content is your hook. This is the reason why someone's going to watch your video or like your photo or swipe through your carousel. 
you're giving them a reason in the first few seconds of interacting with your posts why they need to. And a hook looks different on every platform. For an Instagram post, it might be the first line in your caption. For a TikTok, it's the things you say in the first three seconds of your video. And for YouTube, it's your title and your thumbnail, plus the first 15 seconds of a long form. Because once you've figured out your hook, you can then go on to plan your post concept. And so if you want to create incredible lifestyle content, for your brand. You must develop a shot list for all of it. You need to think out everything that you're posting. And to the degree of what you're thinking out, it can change, especially if you're putting together a documentary or you're just putting together some easy short form videos for your Instagram. And so what I like to do, especially in reference to today's fitness content, is actually create shot lists based on inspiration of similar shoots. And I did find similar creative in my pre-production shot list from a Zulu athletics shoot so that we could kind of play around with the same shots just in a different environment. For video, I like to find other videos that I enjoyed watching and pull out frames in order to cue my model. So I'll look for movements that I think display the product correctly and then take that frame, translate it into a word, create a detailed bullet list, and that will then make up what my short form video or long form video will look like. Because if everything serves a purpose in one video and we don't just have filler content, that means that all of our posts serve a purpose and provide a extremely valuable social media presence people will actually want to end up following. And so once you have your shot list done, you have your story planned, you have your location chosen, you know what piece of content that you want to actually make at the end of it. And in this case, it's a cinematic reel. But for you, it might be something completely different. If it's a lifestyle photo set, that's a different content format than what a cinematic sequence actually looks like. Or if it's a talking head, or it might be you interviewing people around the street. Those are all different content formats. And it's only after you go through this pre-production process that you'll then realize what content Content you're gonna end up making. But the trick then comes into knowing how to execute your shot list. And in our case, I like to follow a stepwise sequence through my shot list to make an engaging sequence. But I do have a recommendation for if you're filming cinematic sequences and wanna make your B-roll interesting, here is what you're gonna do. I use what's called a seven shot sequence. I go through my pre-planned shot list, make sure I can capture enough footage of what's happening to A, tell the story that I intended and B, make a solid sequence that looks like this. And it starts by looking at my sequence and establishing what starts with a wide shot. And then I go for maybe two or three other medium shots in order to better show what's happening actually in the video and then incorporate two, maybe three detail shots of the product or the model just to kind of show textures and what's more interesting about the scene itself. And taking that sequence of actions in line with my shot list will pretty much get me through any situation. And so to establish what the content creator formula actually looks like so that you can create incredible content for your own channel, you need to first start by establishing your why, then building your personal brand pillars and storyline, aligning your post ideas with those personal brand pillars to make sure everything feeds to the overall brand presence that you're trying to build and then developing individual storylines for those post ideas. Once you have that set, you can develop clear hooks that will help provide clarity on why you're making those ideas an actual production piece and more easily capture attention once you make them. And only then can we make a video outline and storyboard explaining exactly how we're going to produce that content. Whether it's a set or a series of inspirational photo images that I I've made a pre-planned shot list for, or a set of shots for a video that I wanna make and I need to lay out what action my model is gonna end up doing. If you're interested in seeing my editing process for today's piece of content, feel free to comment down below. Let me know what you think about it. And of course, if you have any other questions, also feel free to comment down below. I'll hop in the comments, answer anything you might be wondering about. You can also send me a DM on at Brock Wonder on Instagram. With that, I'm gonna say thanks for watching. I'm excited for what comes next. And hopefully I will see you all in the next one.